Hey guys, welcome to the Tenorshare channel. In this video, I'll show you how to fix the iPhone unavailable screen without iTunes and passcode. If you encounter the iPhone unavailable screen, you'll need to reset your device and erase all its content to remove the forgotten passcode from the device and resolve the iPhone unavailable issue. Therefore, it's recommended that you have a habit of regularly backing up your device data to avoid losing data on your iPhone. After erasing all content from the device, you can also restore data to the iPhone through backup. Apple provides some official methods to help you solve the iPhone unavailable screen problem. Next, I'll demonstrate four solutions to the iPhone unavailable screen issue. The first solution is to reset your iPhone using the Forgot Passcode option, which doesn't require iTunes or a computer. The second solution is to reset the iPhone unavailable state, which requires using 4UK to fix the iPhone unavailable screen without the need for the iPhone to be connected to the network or to have signed in to the Apple ID. The third solution is to use Find My to erase the iPhone unavailable status, which requires a computer or other Apple device to remotely erase the iPhone. However, this option requires your iPhone to have the Find My iPhone feature enabled. The fourth solution is to use MacFinder to restore your iPhone unavailable screen, which requires you to be a Mac user. So, let's try these solutions one by one, and hopefully, they will help you solve your iPhone unavailable problem. If they're helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. First, let's try the first option, Reset iPhone to resolve the iPhone unavailable problem. This option requires your device to meet three requirements. The first is that the iPhone is updated to iOS 15.2 or later. The second is that the iPhone is connected to a Wi-Fi or cellular network. The third is that there is a logged-in Apple ID account in the iPhone. When your device meets these three requirements, you can try entering the wrong password multiple times, and your device will display iPhone unavailable. For iPhones running iOS 17 or later, the Forgot Passcode option will appear in the bottom right corner. For iPhones running iOS 15 or 16, you need to try entering the wrong password again. When the message Try Again in one hour appears on the iPhone screen, there will be an option to erase iPhone below you need to tap on this option. Your iPhone will display a prompt saying iPhone reset or erase all content. If you're sure you want to proceed, you need to click start iPhone reset or erase iPhone. Then, you need to sign out of your Apple ID, enter your Apple ID password, tap done and erase iPhone. Your iPhone will shut down and then the iPhone will start resetting. This process may take about 10 minutes, depending on the size of the files and data on the iPhone. After the reset is complete, your iPhone will be like new. When you see the hello screen, it means your iPhone reset is complete. Then you need to set up your iPhone. On the Transfer Apps and Data page, if you have backed up iPhone data, you can restore data through here. You can choose iCloud Backup or Mac and PC for data recovery. After completing the setup, your iPhone will be ready to use. But if your iPhone doesn't display the options to erase or forget passcode, you can't directly solve the iPhone unavailable problem. In this case, you need to try the second solution. Use 4UK to fix iPhone unavailable screen. It can help you solve issues such as iPhone unavailable, security lock, and iPhone is disabled. 4UK will reset your iPhone to erase all data and settings on the device, including the lock screen passcode. You can try 4UK for free through the link in the video description. Connect your iPhone to the computer and launch Tenorshare 4UK. You need to click the Start option and then follow the software prompts to put your iPhone into recovery mode. The method of putting different devices into recovery mode varies. If you're using an iPhone 8 or later, you need to quickly press the volume up and down buttons and then hold down the side power button. Wait for about 20 seconds during which your iPhone will shut down and then start up in recovery mode. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus devices, you need to simultaneously hold down the volume down button and the side power button. Similarly, wait for about 20 seconds and your iPhone will shut down and enter recovery mode. If you're using an iPhone 6 series or older device, you need to simultaneously hold down the home button and the side power button. Wait until the screen goes black and then enter recovery mode. This is the method for all iPhone devices to enter recovery mode. 
Then 4UK will detect your iPhone device and provide the latest firmware package. You need to click the download option. After the firmware download is complete, you need to click the start to remove option. This will start resetting your iPhone to remove the iPhone unavailable screen. This process may take about 10 minutes, so please be patient. After your iPhone reset is complete, you need to set up your iPhone. If you encounter iPhone locked to owner during the setup process, you need to enter your Apple ID and password to activate it. This completes the repair of the iPhone unavailable screen. All right, let's take a look at the third option. Use the Find My feature to reset your iPhone. Using this option requires your iPhone device to meet the following two requirements. First, your iPhone needs to have the Find My iPhone feature enabled. Then the requirement is that your iPhone is currently connected to a double ULAN or cellular network. If both of these requirements are met, you can proceed with the following steps using a computer or another Apple device. If you're using a computer device, you need to open a browser and visit iCloud.com slash find. You need to click the sign in option and log in to your Apple ID account. Then you need to find the unavailable iPhone among all devices. Here, you can choose to erase this device. Follow the prompts. After clicking the erase option, you need to enter the Apple ID password to complete the iPhone reset. After the operation is completed, wait a while for your iPhone to start resetting. After the iPhone reset is complete, your iPhone unavailable screen has been successfully repaired. If you're using an iPad or another iPhone device, this device needs to be logged in with the same Apple ID as the unavailable iPhone. Then you need to open Find My on the device. Select the device option below and then find the unavailable iPhone in the list. The subsequent process is the same as on the computer. Use the Erase This Device option to reset the unavailable iPhone. After the iPhone reset is complete, your iPhone unavailable screen has been successfully repaired. If you're a Mac user, you can also try using the fourth method. Use MacFinder to restore iPhone unavailable. In MacFinder, it can help you restore or update your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. When the device encounters a problem, you can connect it to a Mac. Then you need to put your iPhone into recovery mode. The specific operation process has been detailed in method two. After the iPhone is put into recovery mode, a finder window will pop up on your Mac and indicate that the iPhone has a problem that needs to be updated or restored. We need to select the restore option. Then you will be prompted that restore iPhone will erase all the media and data on the device. With the reset confirmed, click on the restore and update option. Click Next and Agree option and Finder will adapt your iPhone to download the latest iOS firmware. Once the download is complete, your iPhone will start resetting. The process will last for about 10 minutes and you need to be patient. After the iPhone reset is complete, you can proceed with the settings. Well, these are the four solutions to fix the iPhone unavailable screen. I hope the solutions in the video can help you solve the problem. Please don't forget to like me and subscribe to the channel. If you have any other questions about iPhone or iPad passwords, please write in the comments. We will actively help you to solve the problem. Thanks for watching and let's see you in the next video.